Jones! Golly, what happy animal. I'd love to be friends with them. can find me a friend.
I've worked for this company for 10 years, and I think I'm entitled to a... Oh, I'll never be able to go through with it. I just know the boss is going to say no. Are you losing your marbles? What's wrong, pal? Jeepers, I've been trying to get up enough courage to ask Mr. Pickle for a raise, but I'm afraid I'll get fired. Life is nothing but a gamble. You gotta take a chance. Oh, I wish I had your courage. Well, chum, you can stop worrying, cause I'll help you get that raise. Oh. You're a real pal. Now, don't forget the speech I wrote for you. Come in. Come, come, creepers. Speak up. I'm a busy man. A ball. A ball. A ball. A ball. A ball. Boss! I've worked for you, Mr. Pickle, like a dog for ten years. And I... but I... I, I demand... Uh, you demand what? A glass of water. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the courage to go through with it. Creepers, where's my pill? Right away, Mr. Pickle. Pill? I'll get them for you, pal. <laughs> Creepers, where's that pill? My boy, how long have you been with this organization? Ten years, sir. By Gadfrey, this calls for a celebration. Creepers, let's drink a toast to your loyalty. Could I ask a little favor of my old pal? Why not, my boy? How about giving your old buddy a raise? A raise? Creepers, that's a dirty word around here. Oh, me. Now, this is the idea. I'm gonna phone Pickle and set you up so that he'll be glad to give you a raise. Hello. Do you have a Mr. Creepers in your employ? Yes. I understand he is grossly underpaid. He is a man of many talents which obviously are not appreciated. Therefore, I would like to hire him at double his present salary. Under no circumstances will I let him go. Mr. Creepers, would you please come into my office? Jeepers, you're a real pal. Well, thanks to me, my chum's troubles are over. This is terrific. He makes an executive, huh? You must be a vice president or something. How much of a raise did you get? He not only cut my salary, but now I also have to go to the bank every day to deposit to Fame's money. <laughs> gonna pay for this and I'll get fired if I don't get this money to the bank the money that's it we'll put all that dough on a sure thing and with the winners we'll fix the car well chum you can't win them all you know I'm getting you the best lawyer in town and uh, who's that why, me, of course. And 
while speeding to the bank under the strict orders of this tyrant, Mr. Bickle, my poor client almost lost his life in an automobile wreck. Then, without a thought for his own tortured, mangled, broken body, he crawled to the racetrack on his hands and knees where he thanklessly tried to double his boss's money. Stop it, stop it. I withdraw my charges. Well, pal, I understand you got your raise. Yeah, but look at this. It'll take me 30 years to pay this up. 30 years? Oh, that's job security. Say, I never thought of it that way. Oh, how can I ever repay you, Jeepers? sleeping pills and get a good night's rest. Oh. Good night. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Slasher Electric Razor. Today we have a brand new sponsor. Laddies, economize. Use thrifty blades and cut your electric bill as you cut your whiskers. Throw your electric razor out of the window and go right now and get thrifty blades. Did you throw this out of the window? Why, you, yes. I'm gonna paste you in a teat. Protect your eyes, a safeguard film, and that's the honest truth. Just use Protect your toothpaste, and you'll never lose a tooth. Go ahead. I'm protected. See? And now, viewers, it's instant TV breakfast time. <laughs> Use classy, glassy floor wax. Just pour it on and presto, your floor will look like glass. And it's scuff proof, too. Use classy, glassy floor wax. Just pour it on and presto, your floor will look like glass. And it's scuff proof, too. The Do It Yourself Show. And here is your TV handyman with a few valuable tips on plumbing. Just tighten up the loose nut connected to the feed pipe. The feed pipe connected to the U-joint. The U-joint connected to the elbow. The elbow connected to the drain pipe. The drain pipe connected to the forward drip. The forward drip connected to the back trap. The back trap connected to the jigger pipe. And there you are. Handyman, it's time to relax with a mild black foul cigar. Fuddlehead! <laughs> Look what you've done! Where are we going to get the money to fix this? Viewers, do you need cash for house repairs? Go to the Easy Breezy Loan Company. Strictly confidential. I 
I'd like to make a... Shh. Strictly confidential. A thousand fuck loan for TV, Fuddlehead. A thousand fuck loan for TV, Fuddlehead, coming up. Honey, I just got a loan to... Fuddlehead? You're overdue on your first payment. But, 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 but I just got it. Didn't you read the fine print in your contract? First payment must be made one hour after signing contract, or your entire estate will be confiscated. OK, Irving, take it away. <laughs> You and your TV! Look at the mess you got us into! The It Pays Dough to Know show. The correct answer to just one question will win our grand prize. And the lucky contestant is... TV Fuddlehead? Yeah? Who was responsible for the discovery of the power of an electrical current of one ampere flowing across a potential difference of one volt? Uh, what? You are absolutely right. It was James Watt. Mr. Fuddlehead, you have just won all the luxuries of modern living. Breathe from financial worry for the rest of your life, plus your very own home in a secluded spot. Fuddlehead, you and your TV got us into this whole crazy mess. All the luxuries of modern living, free from financial worry for the rest of our lives, our own home in a secluded spot. What are we going to do out here in the middle of nowhere with all this worthless junk that's cluttering up the place? Now, a word from our sponsor. Are you thirsty? Is your mouth dry? Dry Rico, it's so smooth. knock on the door and... Whoever it is, just go away. Look, I need some help. Who, who are you? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. The ghost? Please, let me explain. Zounds! <laughs> the castle is haunted! <laughs> but, sir... Oh, 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 sir, ghost, I surrender. Oh, my horse couldn't jump this raging torrent. Raging torrent? Why, this is only a babbling brook. And this isn't even a real horse. I know, I know. Oh, I'm terribly afraid of real horses. Oh, in fact, I'm afraid of everything. You want to know something? They call me the timid knight. Ah, breakfast. You must save him, Sir Knight. Oh, but who's going to save me? Come on, they went that way. Oh, and I'm going this way. I'd better take a shortcut. Mr. Bear. A, a, a ghost! Yeah! You've done it, Sir Knight. Oh, so I have. What have I done? Showing your bravery by saving a little fellow from a ferocious beast. You're a hero. A hero? Now you don't need to be afraid of being afraid. Well, what do you know? Oh, I'm a brave knight. What do you say we go to my castle and celebrate? It's about time you get home. I've got a message for you. It's from the princess. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Oh, she's been captured by a dragon. As soon as I sharpen your sword, you will rescue the princess. Now's your chance to really show your bravery. Oh, I'd love to, I'd love to, but there's one thing. I'm scared. But you were able to beat a ferocious bear. Oh, but I'm deathly afraid of dragons. Dragon Den, one mile. Genuine fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> Did you say fire-breathing dragon? Why, yes. I'm going home. Oh, oh, the very thought burns me up. Don't be silly. Good. We found the dragon's den. This is good? Now, go rescue the princess. Oh, Casper, couldn't you do it for me? 
But the idea is for you to do it to show your courage. Well, what about him? I'll attract his attention, and you sneak past into his cave. Oh, Mr. Dragon! A ghost! <laughs> you can't scare me! I'll smoke you out! Now to see if Sir Knight reached the princess. Hi! Ah! A ghost! Oh, don't worry. Oh, he's Casper, the friendly ghost. You know, he's shown me how to be a brave knight. Come on, I'll dash out first. And when the dragon chases me... We'll escape. Hello again. Huh? It's that pesky ghost again. I'll fix you for hunting my territory. But can't we be friends? Oh, so that's your game. Helping the princess to escape, huh? Gosh, he's getting close. Oh, Casper, Casper, tell me what to do. Defend yourself, Sir Knight. I saw it. Oh, will you look at it? Oh, it's melting. <laughs> do you know something, Casper? We should have brought a fire extinguisher. That gives me an idea. Now I'll get you. Follow me, Sir Knight. Under this waterfall, quick. <laughs> My fire is going out. I feel so much better without that burning in my throat. <laughs> That's what probably made you so mean and bad all the time. Yeah, but now I feel good and hungry. Yum, yum. Ah! What you need is a change of diet. You're right. I'll eat the night instead. That isn't what I mean. Wait here a minute. Here, try some of these. Mmm, delicious. What strange food is this? Fruit and vegetables. They'll make you strong and happy. Boy, this is good. Thank you, Casper. I'll never eat anybody again. Oh, and Casper, Casper, you have shown me that even I can be brave. Goodbye, friends. Hope you find your way home, Casper. Well, that's one night I won't forget. Gee, that looks like a friendly little town.
be Desert Dan, and I'll try to capture you. Okay, Billy, let me get a head start. I must have that crayon! Begging your grace's pardon, but I just shan't give it to you. You've hidden my crayon! Where is it, I say? Where is it? Yo! I beg of your lordship! Where is that crayon? Do this dreadful thing, your grace. Quiet, you snitch. <laughs> but, your grace, I only feel it my duty to stop you before you're done in. Enough of your sniveling to ribbles, Medley. Morning, your lordship. Oh, good day, officer. I beg of you, don't perpetrate this hideous crime. What's going on here, your lordship? I've just apprehended the phantom mustacher, officer. Sure, the phantom mustacher, eh? 
You're making a horrible mistake, officer. Search him! Search him! Oh, how could you, Your Grace? A little kiss, Maisie. Well, all righty, but only one. Before have so many moustaches been painted on so many people by just one madman. The Yard expects every man to do his duty. Elementary, my dear inspector. Elementary. How can you believe such accusations against Sir Percival Pruinpit? He is so kind to his dear mother. And he loves animals. Look at his fine, noble face. So sweet and so pure. <laughs> I appeal to you, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't condemn this saintly man. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> what is your verdict? Not guilty!
Well, Mr. Space Mouse, uh, how did I make out? Uh, uh, pretty good, but uh, you'll need some more space tests. Now to condition you against space vacuum. Pass the vacuum test, Mr. Space Mouse. Did I? Operation Hold Conditioning is next. <laughs> well, that's the finish of that cat. Ready to go now, Mr. Space Mouse? Oh, no! The final test is for cosmic space conditioning. Oh, boy! Ten million tender, juicy mice. Sure make a gruesome twosome. But I must get home to start the witch's brew. See you later, Wendy dear. We gonna get Casper away from that Wendy's good influence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a witch coil that looks like Wendy. Excuse us, uh, we're nice ghosts and we'd like a wine with you. Nice ghosts? Bah! You mean you're a mean little witch coil? That's right, pale puss. They don't call me Wildcat for nothing. Look, Wildcat, just listen to this. <laughs> that sounds like frightful fun. I dyed your outfit red just like Wendy's. Good. I'm dyeing my hair to blonde. Oh, Casper, see who's at the door. Why, Wendy? What are you doing here? I just got lonely without you. But I thought you had to make the witch's brew. I hate flowers. Why, Wendy, you never did anything like this before. Before, I was nice and sweet. Bah! I'll plant this back in the ground again. <laughs> you sure look surprised. I, I sure am. Well, I'm tired of being good. That was a real nice story that Casper read to me. Wendy, is that brew ready? Coming up. What are you trying to do, Paul? 
poisonous. Gosh, while thinking of Casper, I used the wrong ingredients for the brew. Sweet peas and sugar plums. It's all the fault of that goody-goody Casper, that's what. Speaking of spooks, that one reminds me of Casper. Hold on, short sheet. Look at the frightful furies calling me names. Now, if Wendy had a ghost friend like that, <laughs> I'll bet she'd soon be mean like us. And with a little magic, we can make you look like Casper's twin. Sure, I'll change Wendy into a mean witch. Casper Sasper, change into the image of Casper. I'll see who's at the door. Why, it's Casper. Oh, how nice. Uh, you can go out and play, Wendy. Golly, Casper, aren't you afraid to come here? You know how the witches feel about you. Well, I've decided to be as mean as they are. Now look what you've done. Oh. <laughs> I just don't understand what's happened to Wendy. Casper has just got to be all right today. I'm awfully sorry, Wendy. It was really all my fault, Casper. Why, you sound just like my old Wendy. And you're just like my old Casper. <laughs> Today, I'll give Casper Loveless lesson number two. If, if you're Wendy, then who was that? And if you're Casper, then who's that? Here's where I give that Wendy another tough time. Hello, Casper. Well, have you decided to be a ghoul or a good boy today? Why, a ghoul boy, of course. What else? Come on, Wendy. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why, you phony phantom. No girl can talk to me like that and get away with it. Let's break it up, Wendy. Stop. Stop. Uh oh you're the... Yes, we're the real Casper and Wendy. And who are you both? I'm Wildcat. The ghostly trio wanted me to make Casper mean like they are. And the witches made me look like you, Casper, so that I could make Wendy as tough as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say, don't you two hate us now? Why, of course not. We just feel sorry for you, that's all. But that doesn't make sense. Well, it does if you knew how much fun Wendy and I have by just being good. We'll never know unless we give it a try. That's right. Hey, guys, do you see what I see? Say, girls, do you see what I see? Crazy sky sweepers. Why don't you watch where you're going? Why don't you whitewash spooks watch where you're going? Just like grown-ups, fighting all the time, you'd think they would know better. <laughs>